Hi guys, we're on day six of our 30 day challenge in June and whoever's on with me this morning, it'd be great to give me a wave, say hello. <laughs> Because it's Sunday and I know Sundays are quite a tough one to wake up early and get on board and do something like this. So if you're not with me this morning, then please do a hashtag replay. Let me know that you've done it, especially at a weekend. I don't know why, but at a weekend, we'll always have reasons not to carry on. And sometimes you just think, oh, so get on and come and join, join me. Now, today is day six. And so to, tomorrow is starting our second week. And in second week, we are actually going to be changing things up a little bit. So I'd like you to have a chance to look around the house today. If you have any light hand weights, like a kilogram or 1.5 kilograms, or if you've got something like cans of food or, I don't know, a bag of pasta, then have a think about bringing that with you for our next one starting tomorrow, because we're going to be just taking up the workouts a little bit more. That goes across the basic and across the intermediate, because we want to just start seeing some progression. So I know that's for tomorrow, but I just wanted to give you a bit of a heads up. Have a start at looking around and see how you're feeling. Now then, if you haven't done the challenge yet, we're going to be doing three moves. We've got uh, 10 repetitions and you have a basic level and an intermediate level. Please do check. Back to day one, there are some demonstrations. You can check how uh, what we're doing and just find out the level that works for you. And you might even be into mixing the intermediate with the beginner, which is great. Um, but hopefully we're on day six, you're gonna start really starting to notice some changes now. So you can start this at any point. Obviously we're doing it with the days of the month, but you can start this at any point and hopefully you're gonna join in with me. So let's get started. I'm gonna come back. And uh, just want to make sure you're nicely warmed up a little bit through your shoulders. So just have a match of those legs whilst I just talk to you about what we're going to do. Remember, if you're doing basics, we're going to start off with lunges. You can either do a step forwards and a step back, but keeping those hands engaged, making sure your posture is good to so pull those tummies in, shoulders are up and back. Or you're going to be able to go into a lunge. So you're going to take a step forwards, down into that lunge, and then squeeze it back. You're going to do alternating legs if you're on the basic level. If you're intermediate, we're going to be doing 10 on the right, 10 on the left. And if you can, put your hands at your head, you can. Or again, you can keep them on your hips. All right, we are going to get started because as you know, I like to get these smashed out so that we're done for the day. We lift our metabolisms. Five, six, off we go. So stepping forwards, down and squeezing back. Now, if you have been doing this with me, Maybe you're doing it a little bit lower now. Maybe that knee is going to the floor. Now, I have to say, you know, I know I work out the most days, especially when I'm teaching, and I'm finding that my balance is much more improved, especially because I'm doing this on carpet when I'm doing this with you in the mornings. And I can really feel the changes starting. And that's just with me doing three moves with you each day. So I'm looking forward to seeing how we can progress into next week. Now, um, that's seven. <laughs> this is eight. I'm going to just count to the last two. Nine, keep that chest lifted. And ten. Squeezing back and up, and arms come down. Those ten went very, very quickly. And let's put our hands back up. If you're doing the basic, you can just march those legs or have a breather and join back in with me. Up to you. You can do more alternating knees if you want to. This is on the left side now. So we're going down, this is two, tummies are in, this is three, breathe, four, we always have one side that's a little bit more wobbly than the other, five, remember you can always regress, you can always go shallower if it gets to a point that it just feels a bit too much still, this is seven, so say that have a wobble, eight, squeeze it back, Nine, last one, ten, good. March your uh, legs, arms, ball, shoulders back. Good, we're going to go into our sumo squats. So take your legs wider, wider than hip width. Your feet are at five to one in position. For the basics, you're going to be just pressing back with those hips. Remember, hinge from those hips, not from those knees to start with. So hinge back before you go down. Shallower is easier, hands stay down, chest is lifted and you're squeezing those boots at the top. For those of you who are more advanced, you're gonna go down as deep as you can, squeezing up with those arms, 
squeeze those glutes in as you come up. Are you ready? Five, six, off we go. So down, squeeze it up. Down, squeeze, good. This is three. And up, four. So the slower you can go, the deeper you can potentially go. So if you want to go slower than me, that's absolutely fine. This is six. Breathe. Seven. Eight. Nine. Squeeze those glutes to the top. And ten. Now, we're going to come back down. You know what we're going to be doing next? We're going to be pulsing for ten. So if you want to do this on the basics, have a go. Ready? Off we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Squeeze up. March those legs in. And that just intensifies those movements into your legs. We're lifting our metabolism. Heart rate's definitely gone up. Now then, we're going to go down to the floor. We're going to do our plank work. So make sure I come and step forward, forward a little bit more. Coming down, put your knees down to the floor. Basics, remember, always make sure those wrists are under those shoulders. And you're going to step your knees back a little bit. Tuck those toes under. And remember, you're either lifting one leg, keeping everything really still. See how that's feeling. You could actually be at the stage now that you can go onto your toes and you can drop a knee, alternating knee. Whichever works for you. Anytime you need to have a pause, go into child's pose and rejoin in. And count how many you can do. For those of us who are going to be doing it a little bit more intermediate, you're going to be doing the forward cross back, slice a swipe, five, six, off we go. So forward cross back, forward cross back, forward cross back, forward cross back. Here we go. This is five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, knees down, go back. Now, if you finish as the basic level, then you've done brilliantly. Feel good that you've done that. I'm going to come forward. We're going to go back into our either jumping out or stepping in and out. And I'm alternating each day. I'm going to do the stepping out this time, but you can either jump in and out. For 10 or out, out, in, in. We're just making sure those abdominals are really working through our, and we're also working through our arms and our chest. So let's get started. Five, six, off we go. So out, out, in, in. Two, three, bottoms down. Four, five, tummies are in. Six, seven, eight, keeping everything still. Nine, Ten. Good. Knees down. Taking yourself back. Shoulders down. Rotate those wrists. And you should be feeling nice and warm now. So you can take this, do something extra from here, go for a walk. Use this as a lovely warm-up for your day. You can even carry on and doing a nice little workout if you want to. So just remember, for tomorrow, we start week two. Already, we're going to be increasing it a little bit. You can always stay with the basics of what we've just done. And you can just keep building up over each day. So if you haven't reached 10 repetitions of everything yet, then that is your challenge for the month. For those of you who think, yeah, I've got this now, then we can take it up a little bit more. I'll be doing some demonstrations so that you've got something to refer to. But it'd be really good. Now, just remember, if you are postpartum recovering, if you're going through the menopause, if you're dealing with anything to do with your hormones, exercises like these are absolutely critical for you to help you mentally and also to balance your hormones. Now, hormones are a nightmare. They can yo-yo all the time. But if you're actually doing something that's weight-bearing, which is what we're doing when we're doing those, um, those planks, <clears throat> we're using our big muscle groups. We're actually helping our bodies to get some energy through those bigger muscles we're starting to use our body properly. And you'll do things like you'll actually start noticing that your joints won't ache so much because you're moving a little bit more. And when we do a challenge like this, we're always looking at ways that we can actually have a little bit more movement in our lives because we are predominantly very, very sedentary. We're going into these summer months 
and you want to do less because of the heat of the day. So just doing something like this each day consistently really helps train your brain to do something that's really positive for you. And you'll start noticing some nice changes in your body, whether that's your posture, your core will start getting a lot stronger, especially with those plank moves. And also, you know, using those big muscle groups like our glutes when we're doing our squats and when we're doing the lunges, you'll be really surprised at how much your body feels so much better. So I really hope you're enjoying this. It is supposed to be enjoyable. So I do hope you're enjoying this. Do join me tomorrow. We're going to be on day seven, which is our week two. I will be putting up a demo of what we're going to be doing for that ahead of time. So you can have a bit of a practice if you need to. But do check out around the house. If you've got some cans, if you haven't got any hand weights, use some cans, use some bottles of shampoo or fill up some little bottles with rice. They're great ways of just having a little bit more resistance. And that's for both big basic and for intermediates. But in the meantime, guys, have a brilliant rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.